was left. In one quarter mile, arrive at 8623 Old Dowd Road, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28214, on the right. No trucks allowed. Good thing we're here. Truck stop here. I've been to this place before. It's been a while. I delivered some steel plates. Just like that TSA driver got beside me. Steel plates. I got steel beams. Tail in front of me. I want y'all to see how packed this truck stop is. Bob tail sitting right there. Look where I'm at. On the scale. Look how packed this truck stop is. Yeah, this guy left his truck right here and went inside the truck stop. See two spots beside me. Or what appears to be two spots. Bam, look what we got, bobtails. Look at this truck stop. Jam packed. I just stopped to get some coffee. 952. See how full it is. This is a Loves in, in Charlotte, right off uh, 85. It's Sam Mills Road. I think that's what it's called. I could be wrong, but something like that. 
I, don't, I think they just built this loves maybe like a year or two ago. <sighs> Look at the fuel island. I never stop here. It's never, when I'm going through Charlotte, I never plan on stopping at this loves for a 10 hour break. For this reason right here. Let's look at it. Stevens Transport. Look at this side. Uh, Paul Armor Transport. Bob Tail sitting right here. Look at those shiny wheels. Clean them things up nice. There's my headset right there. A lot of people ask me. There's my GPS. I guarantee you, you go to Love's, you'll find that uh you'll find it at Love's. Some some loves you see a seven ninety nine. Some loves you can get it for six ninety nine. I told the motherfuckers bacon. They give me this little ass tiny piece of ham. I sat down and ate my breakfast. Pretty good breakfast. But I wouldn't recommend stopping here to get it. <laughs> Bad boy still backed up. Guess what? I just got a load. Picking up in Chester, South Carolina. Rosenberg, Engine Products, something like that. Whatever that place is. I've been there before. Chester, South Carolina. They need to ban these bobtails for parking that truck stops. Y'all, they didn't build a whole other car lot for them. Woo! Picking up in Chester. And that's delivering to Richmond on Monday. That's hitting the road. We go ahead and knock this bad boy out. saw one out getting loaded anywhere but i always see them in birmingham at the terminal that's what i'm picking up that whatever they call that stuff some kind of lumber i don't know it ain't lumber but it's like lumber but i know whatever it is you gotta throw some uh some belly straps on it you see he already got one hanging down right there you gotta throw belly straps that stuff right there slide on you I 
don't see where this guys is securing their loads at. They in the sun. I don't know. I don't know how long I can get away with it. But I'm about to stay up under this little shelter and do my securement in here. Guess who finished first? My man still, my man just got done. I already got my paperwork. And guess what? I stayed in here the whole time. Hey look, this some kind of this some kind of wood. I'm not sure what it is, but it's wood. Hey, I want to show y'all something. This is what I'm gonna this what I'm gonna name this name this video. See what that say? 32 minutes. That's how long I've been on duty. 32 minutes. The other guy on my left, he got he got loaded after me. And he pulled out in the sun too. I mean, so maybe they use that little area for something. Well, I think it's for tarping. But uh ain't nobody had to tarp, so I guess it I guess it was all good that I secured my load in there. Hey, but look, this is why it's important by what I said about that 32 minutes on duty. Cause that's, that's all it took me to get loaded and to secure that load, 32 minutes. When I was parked over here to the left and the guy told me to pull up, as soon as he told me to pull up and you see my clock said yard move, I put it on yard move and I, and I logged it as loading. Cause you gotta, some, you know, sometimes you get loaded, you gotta, you gotta move around the yard. So you do that so your uh, so your drive clock don't kick on. You just need a badge. All right. Thank you. Yeah, y'all move loaded. That's what I logged it as. Thirty-two minutes. 32 minutes, get loaded, secure the load. I got about 10 straps on the load. Y'all go back, rewind it, count it if you want to. Maybe nine or 10, I got a lot of straps on it. And I had to go inside the office to get my paperwork. And I had to wait on it to print, because it wasn't ready yet when I went in the office. And still, only took 32 minutes. How is that relevant? What the hell are you talking about, D? How is that relevant? What the hell are you talking about? I'm about to stop right here and send my... Let my dispatcher know I'm loaded. She, she probably already knows she see this truck moving. But I like to I like to do this stuff by the book anyway. Cause whenever, my dispatcher, she'll know. But I never know when she's not going to be in the office. Because like, uh, like I might like Monday comes... Say, I, let's say I had a backup dispatcher. The backup dispatcher would call you and be like, "Hey, you didn't? Did you ever pick the load up?" I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm driving with it now." And they'd be like, "Oh, you didn't send the part shipper message." Hey, right, I'd be like, "I picked that damn load up Friday." They'd be like, "Oh, I didn't know because you didn't send the part shipper." Oh man. Worry about no damn depart shipper. Hey, y'all know how it is, man. Y'all know how it is with these dispatchers. Hey, that other guy commented said his company requires your company requires you to log loading time. Hey, my company does too. That's why I try to log it when I can. If I gotta go back, if I gotta go back and edit it, hey, it is what it is. I just had to edit it. Hey, it is what it is. Let me get my tail on this road. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Okay, let's take it back to this morning. That first load I dropped off in Charlotte. It only took me, it took me longer to unsecure the load than it took me to actually get unloaded. Take the two chains off, 
take the straps off, put the edge protectors up, roll the straps up. It took longer to unsecure the load than it took to get unloaded. So, the, so I'm going to title this video, Why Choose Flatbed Over Dry Van? That's what I'm going to name this video. And in my opinion, hey, disclaimer, this is my opinion, my opinion only. In my opinion, the main reason I would choose flatbed over dry van, we got longer, longer brakes. We, we don't be doing no 8 2 splits on the regular. Some of y'all do. We got longer times to take breaks, including our weekends. Most flatbed companies, you get more than 34 hours. You might you might get you might get 60 hours. Hey, some flatbed companies, some flat like this load I got right now. I'm picking it up on today on Friday to drop off Monday. But if need be, if I had something I had to do Monday, I could probably get it dropped off Tuesday. But when it comes to loading, unloading, our wait times. I ain't going to say, sometimes it can get hectic now, but like this morning, I had one truck in front of me when I got to that steel mill, and he was unloading that truck when I pulled up. The forklift driver was waiting on me to take my straps off before he unloaded me. I got unloaded in 10 minutes. This load, this load I just picked up, I had one truck in front of me, which was that Southeast Logistics truck. It only take two swoops, and they put the whole... He put one side, straightened it up, put the other side, straightened it up, boom, that's it. Took me longer to secure it than it took me to load it. So that's why I would choose flatbed over drive in. We don't have to wait as long. And then the Monday through Friday schedule. Monday through Friday, most flatbed distribution centers. Monday through Friday schedule, most flatbed shippers and receivers. Or Monday through Friday, seven to five. You might get some seven to six. You might see some 24 hours. The only flatbed places I say I don't like is those distribution centers like Lowe's, Home Depot, where you gotta have an appointment and you gotta be like 30 minutes early or they're gonna turn you around. That's the only ones, I don't like them. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't like them, but I don't like the ones where you have an appointment that's like four or five in the afternoon. And you can't change it. Because that'll mess your day up. But like if I got an early appointment, like 8, 9, 10, something like that. Yeah, I'm all, it's, it, it's no problem. Okay, so this load is going to Richmond, if I didn't tell you. I'm leaving Chester, South Carolina right now. I'm leaving Chester, South Carolina. I'm about to get up here on 77. Now either I could go south or I could go north. I could go south through Columbia, I go north through Charlotte. Either way is about the same. But I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the north route. We're gonna head north. Go back up through Charlotte. My GPS telling me to take 74 and come out on uh come out uh in Lumberton. But once I get up, I'll see if I'm gonna take either that route or I'm gonna take 85 all the way up to 421 towards Sanford. Flat bad gang. Hey, back rolling left. I had three flat tires. Hey, I hit something on that bridge up there in Madison. I had to. Ain't no way I had busted them tires just by driving over a bridge. It had to be something on that road. Might have been some of that exposed rebar or something. You know how it comes up out of the concrete. That's probably what it was. Cause by the time I pulled over, I only had one tire. I don't know where the other tire was at. I only had one tire left up there. The other tire was gone. Flat bed gang. This is a little truck stop up here on this highway. This is highway. This is our uh, highway nine right here. I'm on right now. It crosses over 77. I seen this little truck stop over here on my right. I seen it before, but I never stopped. But I think it's something over here you can park at. If y'all ever come to Chester, we about to see. By the time we get to 77, I'm gonna stop recording. I got 1.8 miles. Hey, make sure y'all share this video, man. Make sure y'all comment down below. Drop the snowman.
Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok. I just started a TikTok. Flatbed Game Facebook group, Instagram. Hey, some people don't have Facebook. Some people don't have Instagram. Some people don't have Snapchat. Hey, it's a way you can contact me. If you don't have a certain one, I'm pretty sure you can find me on one. The only one I say you ain't going to find me on is Twitter. I did have a Twitter one time, but I got tired of keeping up with it. I really didn't uh really didn't enjoy Twitter. Some of y'all y'all, you know, some a lot of the celebrities and news outlets, you know, they use Twitter. But I I just never got into Twitter. But anything else y'all can find me on, man. The link is in the description. The link is in the description. You can find me on some kind of social media. And for and for a lot of y'all to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, wherever y'all hit me up at, Snapchat. Hey, y'all know I respond back to almost everybody. <laughs> I have a lot of free time. All right, y'all, let's look for it. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's it. Exxon, right there on the right. That's a truck. They got truck parking. Yep, I knew it. Exxon. Got a quality in. A Zaxby's, KFC, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Burger King. Another hotel over there behind Taco Bell. Hey, hey, it's, hey man. Got a little. Hey, if you ever had to take a 34 out here, I'm pretty sure you can find something to do. I take my 34s at the crib. Hey, that's for y'all drive in drivers. Y'all post up in a random parking lot anywhere in the country. Hey, that's, hey, that's, that's what the drive in do. Us flatbeds, on Fridays, we take it to the house. Flatbed game, man, I'm out. Love y'all.